Across the nation and right here in the mountains, people are weighing in on Syria. News 13's Emma Wright samples opinion regarding an issue for which there are no easy answers. A local political analyst says many people are questioning the need for the U.S. to get involved. She says President Obama may be feeling the pressure after he announced today he's seeking congressional approval before taking action against Syria. None of the rest of the world wants us to get involved, so I don't see why we should get involved. I'm not sure what there is to gain by getting involved. There's a lot of resistance internally within the United States. There's not really the political will among the people to get involved in another conflict. Political science professor Jennifer Schiff says right now there's no telling which way Congress will vote. Schiff says giving the go ahead to take military action against Syria is unpopular. Like if President Obama had had the support congressionally, he might have already gone ahead with the strikes. Internationally, it's all agreed upon that you don't use chemical weapons, but it's a very complex situation. You don't just go lob some cruise missiles. What is that going to achieve? Professor Schiff says Syria's use of chemical weapons is like drawing a red line in the sand. Well, this war actually does have rules. The Geneva Convention covers the rules of war. And one of those rules is that chemical weapons shouldn't be used. What message will we send? Schiff it... says President Obama feels like the U.S. needs to set a precedent. And there is one line we cannot cross in war, and it is the use of chemical weapons. And our response to a war crime. But she says it will be tough to do without international support. The U.K. was our best bet for an ally, and their parliament voted it down. I think as a humanitarian, yes, it's our business. I think we should get the world's support to do any kind of military action. Members of Congress will return back to session on September 9th. Reporting in Asheville, I'm Emma Wright, News 13.